us is how to stay motivated during lockdown. Jigsaws just aren't cutting it anymore. First bit of advice is get away from the screens. Especially if your way of relaxing is to play computer games. Plan to do one thing a day just for yourself. Plan something into your day that's just for you and make it non-negotiable, make sure you get it. Make it a run, a walk or a bike ride, but something just to make yourself chilled out or anything that you just enjoy doing. Something that isn't actually to do with work or study or school. And don't compare yourself to how other people are doing. Don't even compare yourself to yourself or where you thought you were going to be. And work through those resources steadily. Don't expect to be finish everything in a few hours or a few days. It's so easy these days to compare yourself to other people on social media. Friends might say, I've worked through this entire resource, but it might not actually be true. Or maybe they have finished that resource, but they might not have learned that content really, really well. <laughs> Just remember to go at your own pace and make sure that you find ways to enjoy learning what you're learning. If you're anything like me, then things do take longer than you expect them to. You kind of start something and imagine yourself to be finished straight away. But things do take longer than you expect them to, and that's okay. Just work through it steadily, slow and steady. Take a leaf out of their book, slow and steady wins the race. Not like this poor guy who needed to go a bit steadier there, didn't he? Come on, buddy, don't panic. There we are. Calm yourself down, Henry. Well, my best bit of advice would be to imagine two worlds. What if you didn't use this time to study? What would be the difference between that and you actually getting on with it now? Well, if you don't use this time now, then you're gonna end up going back to school with huge gaps in your knowledge and understanding. And that's gonna take you a lot of time and a lot more stress to actually deal with. You've been given the gift of time, so use it. Don't overstress it, but just do slow and steady, little and often. There's this phenomenon to do with social media which is called toxic productivity, which actually just means that everyone out there is trying to show off and say that they are the most productive, they are doing the most with the time they've been given. Yes, you have been given a lot of time, but you still can only go at your own pace. So do not stress it. They're down here, Florence. Daisies are this way. You can only go at your own pace. And whatever you do get done, your teachers will pick up the pieces. Your teachers will make sure they're checked, that you have covered things and you've understood all the bits that you should have been covering over this lockdown period. It'll be okay. Remember, learning's a privilege and learning should be a pleasure. You know, don't make your study an actual stressful experience. Take your time. Work in a way that you maybe you wouldn't normally. Do a project that maybe you wouldn't always have time for. And just enjoy learning the subject material. Everything in the curriculum is there for a reason. Everything in the curriculum is there because we think it's a useful thing, an important thing for you to learn. You're studying at a time when you have so much available. There's so much online. So use it and enjoy it. And enjoy finding out ways of working that are going to be useful to you in the years to come. Because whether you like it or not, you are going to have to sit some exams at some point. <laughs> if you're in year 10 and you're getting ready for GCSEs, if you're in year 11, then prepare for those A-levels. If you're in year 12, then use the time to get a real deep knowledge of your curriculum. If you're in year 13 and you're looking forward to studying at university, then start now. Start getting excited about what you're going to learn at that university course. You've been given a gift of time, and education itself is a gift, so find ways to actually love studying. And give yourself a break from the screen. I suggest you buy yourself a good study book, get yourself a good physics textbook, or a good whatever course you're doing textbook. There's some links in the description for different textbooks that I recommend. This is hard, but we're all in it together, and your teachers will have a plan for you when you get back to school, so you don't need to panic. Try a new hobby that you wouldn't normally find a time. So let me know in the comments how you're dealing with this, how are you going and what you're doing to keep motivating. But most importantly, talk to your teachers, talk to your parents so they can support you and you can get back down to work.